So, <laughs> we are with Velada Hello. and Peter again. Hello. And uh, we, we already covered the games. We blocked out two b bits of time. And so we have extra time. And so it's always fun to talk with Velada. So sometimes it is. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I thought we would uh, sit here and chat a little bit. Oh, they're from um, the Czech Games Edition, guys. Uh, Space Alert, awesomest game ever. And uh, there's that new release. But I guess maybe what you know we want to talk about, I mean, what's happening in the Czech Republic in terms of games? What are you guys doing over there that, that's making, seems like you're getting more, there's more gaming going on over there. Or at least more game design go going on. Yeah, in Czech Republic is happening the same thing that happens in maybe Germany or something like this, but just a bit uh, later. Yeah, okay. so uh, there are uh, now they can, uh, we, uh, start, I don't know, 15 years ago you can go to toy shop and buy some children games. Yeah, yeah. now you can now you can get a really good selection of uh, good games there, and that's it evolves uh, definitely. Yeah. So do you guys have um, uh, big conventions there as well, or is it still? Like playing conventions? Uh, it's a small convention, I don't know, uh, like uh, 10 days. 10 days? 10 days. And small convention of 10 days. A small convention that lasts gaming. a really long time. Uh, the, yeah, one, yeah. the one Vlad is mentioning is in Prague. Yeah, yeah. And it's called Desko Hrani, which basically means board gaming. Okay. And uh, how many people are there? No, no idea. Oh, yeah. thousands no idea. Thousands. Lots and lots and lots. It has nice history. It was evaluating gradually, so. Nice one. There, yeah. there is a bunch of smaller yes. events. Smaller, uh, I would say, no, there, is, there was another meeting more than two week, more, more than one week in summer, and there, there, is, there are events for I don't know several tens, uh, several dozens of uh, people, several hundreds of people, and uh, and several thousands. Well. Yeah, and several thousands. That's well. So, how did you get into board game design, Vlada? Ah, that's. I, I'm not sure of how I. I always did. When I was, when I was small child, I was creating my own games with some Lego or something like some some uh, toys and uh, and uh, basically we started at with the big American games. Yeah, because let's say some serious gaming. Yeah, we start. Uh, I don't know with uh, Avalon Hill games and so on. Uh, and so we, uh, I don't know, some 20 years ago, almost, we found a, a Brno Gaming Club to just to find players uh, to get together to play these big games. It was all day or all weekend or some uh, blood or something yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah. It was great, and uh, I'm. And then uh, we start to reveal, of course, we, we start to go to SN and we reveal, okay, there can be good gaming experience even in less than eight hours. It was a surprise. I mean, yeah, yeah. Why, why it's not? It's quite the yeah. revelation. You're like, holy <laughs> crap, I had no idea you could do that. But now I think now it's kind of, uh, now I, I can say, okay, I can have great fun. I can wait to play four hours long game. I can play, play four a one hour good games but then i say okay but uh, i have played this good four good games so many times maybe one big experience is good is good again so it's kind of changes yeah i agree i mean well i think it's i think you can uh you tire yourself out by playing a lot of short games some yeah. people do i yeah. mean i like i like the euros but uh euro what we call euro games uh but they get a little dry, you know. You're oh, we're converting this fingers. into this and converting that into that so that we can get blah. I'm like, really? Uh, another worker placement game? All right, fine. But um, I, I, I think that's why I kind of enjoy, uh, uh, you know, the, a lot of the products that, that CGE is bringing out in that they have that so the solid bedrock of good game mechanics, yet you still have some flavor on the outside of it, which is important, and, I think. And the rules. And the rules are great, too, yes. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, well, so now we have that. I mean, tell me about the rules. Why do you guys do the rules the way you do them? I, I love it, I'm just kind of curious. Uh, the, 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 the point is that there are several aspects. Why our, our rules are relatively long, 
and we try them to be enjoyable, to be funny to read. They Sometimes are. Think, uh, because uh, they are long because the games are relatively complex. And we are some, some kind of perfectionists that we don't want some too much open questions. Yeah, this, uh, to, so player has to guess how to handle this. Uh, I, I myself I'm, I'm such a perfectionist, and uh, so I try to write the rules as exact as possible. And then my translator is great, a great uh, American guy, uh, uh, Jason. Uh, he is uh, he knows Czech because he lived several years in Czech, and he he not only translates what I am writing, but he's thinking about it, uh, organizing in the better. And also, if he if, if he found something is not covered by the rules, then he uh, he uh, adds some. Yeah, and and the, the rules are longer and longer. Uh, but on the on the other side, they are long, but they're also they're very clear and they're well organized. And yeah, the funny thing helps. I mean, and, it and, really does. And the funny things, uh, the, the funny things are another thing because uh, we uh, when testing the game. I'm personally explaining the, the dozens of times to different groups and so on. And I want to entertain these people, yeah, because I, when, when I'm expo ex uh, uh, explaining rules for, I don't know, uh, 40 minutes, I don't want them to, uh, to not have... So I'm adding this funny stuff while explaining them. Also, I try the best way how to explain the game. That's why our rules are usually this, this section you can read this, now you can start to play first game, yeah, or first part of the game, and you can read again and so on, because this is exactly how the game was tested, right. how we explained it, and we want this experience to, uh, to give also to, the, to the people who bought the, buy the game, and I can be included in the game, so uh, this is why it is written uh, in the rules. They are longer, but we we put lots of effort to, to this. Oh, yeah. It's a great thing, actually. I mean, and I I, I share your uh, 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 feeling on the on when when you're giving rules explanations. I think it's important to get people into the game. I mean, my my style of, of rules explaining is that I figure if I get about ninety percent of it right, uh, we're good to go. <laughs> now, now, and 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 and, and uh, that that angers some very hardcore geeks. They <laughs> yeah. want to know every well, single yeah. rule before Come they on. even start. And I'm like, well, okay, but if you do that, we're going to be here forever, right? And not to mention, I'm going to go to sleep. And As yeah. my wife says, we will discover while we play. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that, actually. And so I try to get them, you know, go, 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 go. Okay, now, okay, now that you've done that a little bit, but now that, this that, is the new rule. That's the difference why I talked about, because even when testing prototypes, most of people focus on just pure mechanics, on just how it functions and so on. But when Vladia brings, brings to us uh, new things, uh, when we come over on some event or so, it's always fun because he, he, he's explaining the game already with the flavor and uh, you know, yeah. pouring the sauce onto us. So we, so we uh, really enjoy playing Because the, this, this problem, that we, uh, in our game clubs and so on, we, uh, we have uh, the hundreds of games, nice looking games and with, see, with team and so on. And I don't want uh, bother people just bringing something on uh, white paper. paper. So, uh, so uh, they're drawn by pen or something like this. So I usually, when I first time uh, bringing the game, I already did some uh, graphics by myself just to to give them the feeling, yeah. That's uh, uh, I, I try that uh, if the prototype looks uh, looks as well as I am personally uh, able to do. So, so, so you do uh, okay. So um, we were talking a little bit about your history. How did you get into? I mean, so you were playing other people's games. What? I mean, most of us, I guess, that are game players, we feel at one point that we want to start designing games. But what was like the moment that you decided that this is really what I need to be spending a lot of my time on. Uh, by, by doing games, yeah? Uh, yeah? Yes, okay. So, I don't know, but I was, I was uh, preparing some kind of games a uh, very long time. I was working with children with, uh, and preparing games for them, yeah? In some, something like Scout or... Uh, I have to have a Maritza. Uh, <laughs> no, never mind some. 
some uh, some uh, children organization, yeah, 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 yeah. free time organization. I was preparing uh, games and uh, summer camps for them with big game and so on. Uh, and I was also uh, I I was creating game for my friends. There was it was a game that was played. I don't know. Uh, it was for 11 people and we played it all weekend and uh, we had fun. Yeah. So uh, a big, big, a big strategy game with big map and so on. And uh, um, actually, my first uh, also, I, I also I'm pretty geek so, uh, because I uh, my first game was created basically as a uh, combat system for uh, RPG game. Okay. My first game is Arena, and the base uh, basic ideas was uh, created as a combat system for. Uh, no, never existing RPG game yet. So, yeah, yeah. so, yeah, and then, uh, then I, I was asked by. Uh, then this was published by uh, Czech uh, hobby game uh, publisher, and then they asked me to create another game uh, that would have more talisman like for talisman like, uh, like because. Uh, yeah, they were not able to produce Talisman anymore, so they went for the same audience, some game, and and uh, I, I was I was doing it as my hobby all the time, yeah. And sometimes it would uh, at some moment uh, I decide that I like because I was as my work I was doing computer games. Yeah. Okay. And that's so this close. It's relatively close. It's the same time I was computer game designer and also programmer and whatever. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, small company. I had to do everything. Yeah. 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 And uh, <laughs> I on one moment I decided that I like. Actually, I decided I like the whole board game industry much better than video game industry. The players, the approach. And one of this uh, one of this moment was that uh, Tour de Ages was awarded by uh, International Game Award, and I said, okay, this is, can, cannot happen in video game industry. That game that was published in the limited edition with no uh, expensive graphics and, uh, and in, marketing, in mar no marketing and so on, and it was. Uh, <laughs> well, you got marketing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, but I was pretty. Uh, I said that that's that's mu much much nicer uh, area of uh, yeah, of, uh, I, you know yeah. And so uh, and also when I read when I read discussions or on uh, board game geek, I see that th these are nice cultivated people discussing there. This is no no way similar to when there are some video game discussions. Yeah, yeah video so, video game is it's a very different world. I mean, the the only companies, especially these days, video games are run by large companies. It's essentially just sweatshops. Uh, like all creativity has been sucked out of the industry, and and the gamers themselves, I you know, they're they're just not as nice to one another. I, I think just because well, they have they have no reason why to learn to be socially skilled a bit more. Yeah. I mean, I, when you play the board game, I mean, you can be enemies, but it's not that easy. Well, I can, I, I hate this guy, so you know he's my enemy. But uh, no, I, I agree, and that's I, I think that's a big difference. I, that said, there's still there's still some people that have interesting skills, social skill sets in in board gaming, but some I'm, geeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I think the anonymity of of uh, uh, computer games adds to that. I mean, you know, I might hate you. But I'm probably not going to say it to your face. I'd say it, you know, through a chat room. Well, okay. But you know what I'm saying. So that's really cool. All right. So I mean, how did you hook up with Peter and Peter and 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 the? How did you guys create Czech Games Edition then? Uh, we all met on Czech gaming events. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. uh, pretty easy because uh, Czech Republic is not so big, and Czechoslovakia because. Uh, and we all uh, met somewhere on some events. Uh, we saw we have similar tastes, and uh, also uh, the, the, that, that uh, we want to do something uh, together. And actually, there was some idea that uh, I don't know, four years ago, five, I don't know, 
uh, that uh, we can uh, introduce our games because there was lots of uh, there is lots of people that are making games in Czech Republic uh, uh, and uh, to uh, present them to the uh, uh, public, yeah, to the not just to Czech public uh, abroad, yeah, and. Uh, we started with uh, CBG, that's Czech board games. That's some association of uh, authors, and uh, we created uh, three games. So uh, published three games. Oh, published. We created some limited editions like Third Ages, Greenland, and uh, Legion. Sure, and I remember that. I remember that Essen quite well. They were like, Czech? Where did that come from? All right. Yeah. It was good games. But yeah. And. Uh, then part of these people wanted to continue as it was, and another part decided, okay, we really enjoyed working on the games, but we can't afford it because uh, we, uh, the graphic artists had to take, I don't know, one or two weeks off unpaid uh, from, from, from his work to be able to finish all and so on. And uh, it was not perfect production because you are doing limited edition and you don't know ever, if ever it will be some successful, it's hard to invest in it and so on. So, uh, Part of these people decided that uh, they want to try to be some regular publisher and do it as professional way. Yeah, professional. Prof yeah, professional. Yeah, that uh, the usual. Um, when 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 we started, all of us had another job. Yeah, that was not the, like uh, we are just uh, hoping that we will live from it. But but uh, but uh, we took it as a, as a main as our main. Uh, we spent lots of time doing uh, Czech Games Edition, yeah? And that's it. Uh, we are all friends that met on the gaming events. We met playing games, yeah? I remember uh, Peter Mulmak, uh, CEO of uh, CGE. Yep. I remember him. He was. He had lots of games no one else had. And he really enjoyed explaining this to new, introducing new players. Yeah, that was... Uh, it's one of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> I love doing that. Yeah, so, uh, that, and uh, it's it possible he's, he understands perfectly the games, yeah, and he can introduce them to new players and uh, g uh, get them involved, and that was great, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's great. I mean, so, um, I mean, since then, you guys have, I mean, you're, you're, you're a fixture here at, at, uh, uh, at the Spiel now. I mean, what, this is your fourth? Fourth. Fourth one? Fourth. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. And every year you guys come out with at least one good title. I don't know what this was. This year will be. Um, I mean, last year for me, I, I and I mentioned this earlier. Uh, uh, Shipyard was. I, I don't know why. Like every. I, I really. It's, it's I loved game. it. Yeah, I really loved it. Actually, uh, when uh, it's about uh, two and a half years ago, I go when uh, author of uh, Vladimir Suki, author of Shipyard, uh, brought his first prototype. It was much. It was long, uh, fiddly, lots of elements and so on. And we played it. And uh, at the start, we said, mm, that's a bit. and uh, when, when we ended, we, it was it was great. Yeah, it was great. When we built the ships and so on, it, well, there was no art in it, but still we enjoyed the feeling of building ships. And uh, there was this basic mechanics that worked really well. This basic mechanics with the uh, modified rondels. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. This, this action in the middle where we are taking actions. And, and uh, at, at that moment, I, I knew, yeah, we will publish it, and this will be a great game, and uh, yeah. I, I'm glad we did, yeah. That's... Totally. And, um, I mean, obviously, I've gone on enough about Space Alert, we don't have to go there. Through the ages, is that, I mean, how much is of a surprise is that that it keeps enduring? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Through the ages. Do you guys continue to sell as much of it as you do, or...? Uh, actually, today it just was uh, done by uh, CBG. Not they were CG. still part of this company, oh, okay. Czech Games. Uh -huh. uh, after after the publishing of the throughout the ages, they decided to start the professional company. That was oh, the, I see. That was the kind of turning point. So I just I just totally threw myself on the third rail there, didn't I? Know. I? <laughs> <laughs> Rubber <Okay>. hit the road. <laughs> but, yes, but well. now the, the CGE is now do, was doing some uh, Polish version and uh, Spanish Spanish version. Chinese. Chinese was good because uh, Fred, uh, American company, has uh, hand, hand, handles, uh, handles most of big countries and China and so on. And these European countries are handled by CGE now. Yeah, and Fred, French, comp, French version, I don't know, Spain, and Polish, and, I believe. And yeah. Czech again. And Czech again, yeah. 
Well, that's good. We've got it in Slovakia, then we were happy. Yeah, well, <laughs> you got to ship it away so that you can ship it home, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, what's what's the future? What, what do you? What, what's the goal? Uh, yeah, that is that is. I don't know. I think I think I will not say anything yet. Okay. I'm sorry. You know, the no, director that. would punish us if we would, if we said. Oh it no, wrong. no, totally. I, I'm no, not. He would. He would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, from that, my perspective, there can uh, be some plans, maybe. <laughs> what, what I what I see about the CG, I'm not part of the uh, company. I'm just their friend from Slovakia, and yep. there's a bunch of us actually helping the CG every year. Uh, just just bound by friendship. But why we like to work with these guys? Not only that, it's a lot of fun there. Uh, back when, back in our home, or, or even here, actually, despite of the tiring elements, but uh, we really believe in their games because of the completely different, surprising uh, things and ideas in those. So even in even in such a such a Euro as the 20th century is, you have these nice nice little little bits there, which which surprise you and which are really really interesting. And well, not not talking about Vladis games, which are kind of. Yeah, yeah just, so... I, I didn't I, know what is in his head. I was just going to ask I you, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, well. Um, if you, know, you know him better than I, so maybe I shouldn't ask him. But, he is great I mean, fun. how do you come up with, with new ideas? I mean, that's got to be the most challenging part of what you do, yes? I, I, actually, I am... Most of my ideas, ideas are several years old. Yeah, that's... Uh, I am... Uh, I am thinking about something, and uh, then... Uh, uh, then uh, put it away and again continue and uh, combining uh, the th and I start to really work on the game when I think I have everything ready for it. Yeah, I, I, I long time wanted to create some I don't know cooperative game and uh, and uh, I was also bothered with, by the fact that one player can manage all, everything and I tried some games with some traitor and enemy or hidden enemy and hidden yeah, yeah. identities. But if, even if the game was, was great and uh, I had some uh, some, uh, some unpublished prototypes that players still uh, play, a cooperative game like this, I, I didn't like the aspect that the traitor is not enjoying the game as much as the others. Because if the game is tough and uh, yeah, yeah. the people start really to get together, close together, and uh, there was some traitor that was chosen randomly, and it is some nice girl that would like to have fun with them, and he has to spoil the fun for them, in effect. So, yeah, that's, uh, so it was not working for me, uh, as, as I hope. Yeah, so it worked for the all players except the traitor. traitor. So I wanted to create something, but uh, that is, uh, and, and then on one event, on one gaming event, I I was traveling and looking at players playing. I don't maybe it was yeah they were playing Galaxy Tracker, and uh, uh, there was players playing Galaxy Tracker. Oh, Galaxy Tracker! And yeah, yeah, Now yeah. now it uh, it's, it's, okay. I love that game too, by the way. Uh, that's it. That is now if, uh, let's imagine the, the you are the guys on the ship, <laughs> and uh, this all enemies and meteorites and so go go, go your way. So uh, and. Uh, for the, my first, uh, I, the, uh, I imagined this uh, red alert sound to, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and uh, this panic and so on. Uh, yeah, this, uh, and then it was, uh, then, uh, then it was just uh, to put the mechanics together and, that and, was, and, and keep the fun. Yeah, but uh, but uh, I wanted to create cooperative game for a long, uh, cooperative game for a long time. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, all right, that's cool. So I mean, you're yeah, yeah. Uh, do you do you design a lot, or do, I mean, how how do you? What's your 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 normal day? You still have a day job? Oh, sorry. Is is this your full time job? Uh, actually, I am. I still have some uh, small jobs for video game industry, some designing consultation and something like yeah. something like this, and I also. Uh, uh, so actually, work as editor for Czech Games Edition. Yeah, it seems like you're games. now the developer, also, right? Or, yeah, 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 yeah. And but uh, it, it is not so easy uh, because I, when I was doing my uh, daily job uh, in the video game industry, I had lots of downtime to think. Yeah, I was traveling some the back and forth to the work and back, and I was thinking about the board games. Yeah, meanwhile, so so now it is not like uh, I sit down. And start I'm not, now. I'm doing now game. New game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that's not like it. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, for example, uh, I doing. Uh, 
I am doing online prototype for my games uh, to, to be able to play on computer or the, even offline, but uh, to drag components over the screen to play with myself. Yeah, and that, that's regular, but that's programming. Yeah, so uh, this uh, I have to switch this uh, creative work like designing with something like programming or something that is not so creative yeah uh, or editing or something and I, uh, I work the exact same way I, I that's kind of what I was wondering because I'm, I'm I can't think about something like that I have to think about other stuff and then all of a sudden I kind of go and actually another thing is that I want to work on more games simultaneously I, I yeah yeah it was uh, it was difficult it was uh, uh, till now it was till last year it was one big game each year yeah that was and it, it was difficult because uh, I finished the game and play, uh, now I have to start to work on another game. So I decided to slow down, slow down a bit. There is no big game, no, no big new game uh, from uh, me this year. But uh, I hope to have, for example, two next year. But uh, and they are developed now, and it will be it will be better for me because it was it's a bit stressful these days before SN everything has to be I can only imagine a, I, yeah it's uh, as much effort and planning as we do to, to for us to come here and do this I really can't imagine what it's like for you guys that are actually making something I, I just but um, uh, how do you feel about electronic versions of your game uh, you mean uh, yeah, uh, uh, I, being I, a video game, uh, being a video game programmer, I mean, you have to think, you have to think about yeah, it. Yeah, of course, I'm thinking about this, and uh, actually, I think that uh, not uh, if we will be able to do that, there will be electronic versions of our games made by ourselves, because in fact they exist just now. There, is, there are, there are uh, there, because we use them for testing. Yeah. Like to, we asked in Slovakia when when we are, when we were to test uh, let's say 20th century, we could do it online, just with guys in Czech, and we be sitting behind a computer and we're just you know, no, okay. use the mouse and you have it. So yeah, and uh, it is not uh, you still need to test a lot on the table because you have to see the fun, you have to see how accessible it is, you can you have to see if uh, everything is clear on the table and so on. But if you if it came to the balance game balance. Uh, it doesn't matter so, mu so much, and uh, you need experienced player that played lots of times the game and uh, try different strategies. And this is great for me as a designer to see, for example, uh, I can replay the game and see what happened, and uh, that's great. Uh, we are just uh, we are not using it this massively yet for a CGE, but uh, before when I was developing uh, through the ages, uh, that I had some very roughly done uh, version and it was played like, I don't know, 300 times before it was published. And it's also great because uh, when I have players that played so much times, I can just say, okay, what do you think if I change this number to this? And uh, they have played, they, they was playing this and came, uh, uh, dozens of times and they can imagine, they, say, they uh, tell me, yeah. I believe Peter himself was playing, uh, Peter Murmak himself was playing about 200 games of uh, Through the Ages before it was published, yeah, so. Wow, 200. That's yeah. a lot of Through the Ages. Yeah. That's Through the Ages. Yeah, no kidding, no kidding. Yeah, that's, <laughs> uh, but it was not possible, it, uh, it was faster. And then it was relatively polished and it was much faster to play online, yeah. And we were able to play uh, during night uh, that, yeah, at home, every children went to sleep, and <laughs> we had time to. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can appreciate that. Cool. All right, well, gentlemen, I mean, I think our time is used up. Uh, I always appreciate getting to chat with you, and pleasure. 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 I yeah. look forward to your games next year. I mean, okay. I, of course, I once we shut the camera off, you're going to tell me all about them, right? <laughs> <laughs>